Hello everybody, my name is uh, Jade Browning. Uh, I attend Hillsborough High School. I'm 17, I'm a senior. <laughs> um, I want to attend Austin P um, College and Business Entrepreneurship and Marketing. And I have been attending Cottage Cove since the third grade. We are at Cottage Cove. We're at Cottage Cove. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what we do outside. So yeah, it's, that's me, Jade Browning. Okay, some things that went on in the program that I really liked was uh, dodgeball. Um, that's the first time I had ever um, experienced anything with dodgeball. It's the first time I ever played it. I really enjoyed myself, uh, you know, getting revenge at some of the people who are not nice to me at school. There was playground at the time. It's really changed, too. Um, the playground used to be much smaller, but now they opened up the back, the field. Um, they got tire swings, they got swing, seesaw, slide. We didn't have any of that when I was going. I'm actually really gl glad at the uh, progress. I don't even remember this being a room. The walls weren't painted. So, yes. I remember my cross stitch class, too. I enjoyed doing that. Helped me learn how to sew, which it comes in handy now because I do hair, you know, sewings and stuff. So I remember that um, some people went to uh, on-field trips because they got en enough stars. I didn't go personally because probably I was not putting in too much effort on my homework. I just wanted to get to dodgeball or get to the playground. But um, yeah, if you gained enough stars, you could go on field trips. I remember cooking class because I like to eat. Let's see, I remember lost free time too. I spent a good amount of time in there. That's a memory. It's not a good one, but it's a memory. Um, if you are quiet, like you see everybody talking and snickering and stuff like that, you can um, you get do this right here. And uh, if you get somebody to notice you, they'll be like, bonus token for Jade. I'll be like, yes, bro, I just earned a bonus token. A lot of the um, Bible studies are more interactive. They get kids out of the audience to play certain parts. So it, so it wouldn't be just like you just sitting in getting lectured and stuff like that. Summertime. I remember coming here summertime. I was glad Cottage Cove was not closed because it's such a fun program. And Wednesday was Water Day. And um, for Water Day, you have to bring a bathing suit, a t-shirt to go over your bathing suit or swimming trunks, and a towel. And I remember the water slides. I remember water balloon fights. It was just, just so many good activities. I just round of applause for whoever made it, whoever thought of this stuff. I remember memory verses. I enjoy doing memory verses. Um, I remember if you complete a whole page, I believe, you get bonus tokens and spend in store. It was like boys against girls and whoever had the most memory verses or said the most memory verses, there would be like footprints on the wall. And uh, I remember like we would be competing constantly and whoever had the most footprints and stuff would have a party. First graders and stuff, start memorizing memory verses so y'all can win for girls. We had piano classes that I did, um, really enjoyed that. I believe I was in a voice class, um, the God's Not Dead music video. I was in that, I remember. Uh, I had on a white turtleneck and two ponytails and yeah, it was kind of embarrassing, but I remember that. Over time, I became friends with them. They're really cool people. Like, they're just like, you know, friends to me now. Um, I really, I feel like I kind of have a family here. Like, this is great. I, you know, like, if I don't have any, oh, I'll touch my mic. And yeah, I know that they'll accept me here. I don't feel like an outcast. You know, I have friends here. I'm um, not isolated or nothing. There's always uh, somebody I could come here and talk to. Also, I remember um, in the sixth grade, I was having some problems, and um, I, would I was able to talk to a volunteer, and they were able to help me through some of my problems. I don't want to say them, but yes, they were. I, I feel like I, have I can trust the people here. Cottage Cove is so different from all the other uh, aftercares I've been to. There's more activities, it's structured. Like I remember we would do this from this time to this time, this to this time, as um, other aftercare programs or after school programs. It would just be like you come in, you play, you eat, you get picked up. But like when we came in, we sat down, did prayer. Um, and then like they separated by grades. Um, 
this grade would uh, do Bible study, this grade would do like playground activities and stuff, this grade would do homework if you had homework. The other um, aftercare programs, after school programs, they like, they didn't really even ask us if we had homework all the time. I remember I didn't like going to homework because you'll have to, you know, you couldn't do, um, you couldn't do activities until you were finished, but um, I always remember I will always get help. They'll always check my work, give me stars. They really, they really helped me to learn too, like help me to understand problems in school. People skills. I've learned like really good people skills. You know, when you're volunteering here, like what I've, I've done volunteering here, you get to, um, you know, work with a lot of children, and it gives you, it, um, it helps up on your patience skills, because um, I know sometimes I was tired, but. You know, just seeing the uh, faces on the children and how happy they were and stuff, and I imagine myself in their same position, it all also makes me help happy too. To all the people who are going to invest in College Cove, you're putting your money to a great, you're, you're putting your money to a great cause. You're helping kids. Thank you everybody for, uh, for your time. Thanks for listening to me. My name is Jade Browning. I go to Hillsboro, 17, Austin P business, entrepreneurship, and marketing. My name is Jade, and I'm at Cottage Cove. That's it.